Now that Carabutus has been taken care of, what is on the horizon for Rimuru's village? Um, if not danger from the outside, then maybe potentially for Min. Especially with Milim still running around. Luckily she's been kept on a rather strict leash. And with a non-aggression pact signed with the... Well, one of the other demon lords. Rimuru's definitely doing work, isn't he? Is there any faction in the vicinity that hasn't heard his name and is at least a little curious? There are still probably going to be those who want to test their luck, though, so, um, shall we find out? He is still slightly, um, giving me a melancholic feeling every time I see Shizu. But well, that's the point as well. I remember uh, every time that he absorbs a being, there's this Assassin's Creed esque talking to the victim moment. Are we going to see more of that in the future? And if so, with who? And, uh, yes, even the most uh, pitiable backstory does not condone the actions that you've taken. So, at least we know that uh, Rimuru's village isn't going to ever allow... Like a uh, martial art competition. Unless Milim is uh, heavily, heavily restricted. But we know the true winner. It's definitely Gobta. Is he slicing it up for... Very nice. Mm. I mean, it's a good use of his abilities to fit it a fish. You've got quite a bit of material to at least practice with first, so I'm sure they'll get quite good results. Where can one make a, a pot that big? <laughs> they both did work. Yeah, you're allowed a bit of relaxation. They have really expanded the village properly, and it's looking quite nice. And was that Milim swimming underneath the water? Yes. I mean, it's kind of inevitable at this point that it'll probably ascend to that kind of level, but... Yeah, what do you get out of it? Did she forget herself? I mean, I can't really blame her. I do the same kind of thing. I forget quite a lot and ask someone else for me. Very good censorship. Are we talking about actual work? She doesn't seem to be fighting it.
I'm sure that Rimuru doesn't need to breathe, so what was he coughing about? How many times does she need reminding? Probably more than that. Oh, honey. Too late. You should have thought about that beforehand. Yeah, it is quite nice. But has she gone through adversity so she hasn't had to worry about... You know, proper consequences. Sleeping out in the street. Disgraceful. So it's pushing forward ahead with this. This storyline. So I'm, I'm guessing that he absorbs the memories and everything of those that he engulfs, so... It's nice that uh, it's actually getting round to this now. So who's, uh, is he going by himself is the big point. Can the village sustain itself without him there? Ah, oh, Gobta doesn't even get... Geld gets mentioned by name, but not Gobta. Is he go it looks like he's going to actually inform them rather than just slinking away. And if it gets you closer to the Demon Lord Leon as well, or Leon. The thing is, the the entire thing is kind of centred around Rimuru at the minute, but once they make a name for themselves, I'm sure that even if Rimuru was to vanish, there'll be enough in place to keep it going. He might be uh, overcompensating for his previous actions. And while I know they can't go against his wishes, I'm surprised they're allowing him off so easily. Have we been told the time frame before? So it's been two years so far. Wow. Spent a couple of months in the cave without leaving it first, wasn't it? I just read something interesting. Holy Nation. Is it going to be like other fantasy stories where the... Uh, like uh, the Axis cult, they're very fervent. Wow. If any of those bridges go down, that's going to be... Uh, a hell of an impediment on traffic. Does he have a passport to get in?
Really? I wouldn't have ever thought that. Hmm. Fair enough. I mean, he definitely wouldn't come unprepared, would he? But is he going to have to ask for, like, directions? Yeah, and some of the people there were wearing relatively uh, contemporary clothing. I'm not going to mention what churches in this world will might or might not get along with. I'm sure we'll get used to that very soon since it's mentioned here. Automatic doors. So uh, we can be pretty sure that someone from... Uh, Someone was also reincarnated, summoned, etc. To put all this in place. Was it a teleporter or an elevator? Wait. There's just a motorbike on the back in the... What? On the shelf. We've the mask. Maybe. Either he's not well sure just saying you're a monster, but yes, it was the mask. You could have put it in a better way. You may need to get a redecorator. Why do you slime Janai up? Same thing he said to Shizu. Very good way to diffuse tensions. And there was enough in the room to kind of accentuate the fact that, you know, Hell Dandy. I know that character. <laughs> A life well lived. To think he could, uh, is that Final Fantasy? 19? Okay, that's a, um, their references, I don't know. His life is ruined! How long has... Oh, it's like One Piece. <laughs> oh, who cares? Exactly. You got your priorities very clear. But uh, yeah, you still got to replace your desk and everything. And how long has he been in this world? I mean, did did he share his memories with Shizu to show her the something like that? Because he was in his room, there was a computer. But just you're just gonna put 
Yep, he's just going to poop out an entire volume. So Rimuru is now a printer. Or, at the very least, a photocopier. Agreed. At least in the current circumstances of this world, might not be needing something like that, but... I hope he's paying for all of that. There's a still... Yeah. Still the case of him having Shizu's uh, likeness. Looks like he hasn't found a way. Unless he's got an attachment to this world, but... So they've got to come from somewhere. You see, that is uh, one thing that I do enjoy. Where did all the mythology stem from. Yeah, live the easy life, so I'm going to become the the governor of a small city. Are you, are you going to assist in that? What is he going to teach, though? Well, at least he doesn't have to pay room and board. Is that of this world or Japan? Oh, this world. So That's setting it up for future a future meeting. So there is um Just a pure difference in the natives and not whatnot, but and depending on the Standing and nature of the summoners. Hmm. I guess it's just heat. Um, well, it's not just heat resistance, it's, it can be immunity to it, but. So they're on a timer. Has he spent too long coming here?
So burning from the inside out. How is Rimuru going to able be able to correct that? And I have a bad feeling that there's going to be a, a failure among them. Mm. At least give them a few years. Oh, shit. That has definitely put things on a... Uh... Well, it's expedited the issue, hasn't it? By the way, Great Sage, is there a way to circumvent this combustion? I feel like he's taking on a bit more than he can handle sometimes. Well, that was... Well, sure, if they know they're going to die soon, they don't have to worry too much about... Uh... Great, so not only is, are the kids going to fade away relatively quickly, it's a bunch of delinquents. Well, at least one of them, this kid. What, to, what more can we expect from a ginger? And I'm allowed to say that. Hello? Hello? Voldora? Did he sense something in that kid? Like, that one specifically. <laughs> Said that kind of matter-of-factly, and yeah. Yeah. I, uh... I'm glad I've... I personally have never had to deal with it, because obviously then... It would make things uh, a bit troubling, but... I don't know anyone that has had, uh... A terminal illness, as as such, um, like you've been given a, a, a steadfast date. But I don't know how I would react in that situation if I was to be told. Of course, it would depend on the how long, as well. I'd like to believe I'd be a, a little more proactive and less procrastination, but yeah, that's not going to happen. I really do hope that this uh, outro thing here is a statement for the future with them going back to the village, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. It might be an idyllic version. Shikai. Well, considering the build-up for this episode and the title for the next one, I really, I really have no idea what's going to happen in the next episode. And it makes a nice change of pace from being a governor of a city and dealing with battles and diplomacy and adults and million. And now he's uh, on a in a school, in a teaching role for troubled children. And since the the kids already picked up on hmm, kinda looks similar to Shizu. What's going on there? If they ask any hard-hitting questions, things are going to become very difficult very quickly. But from what we saw, they uh, at least respected Shizu quite nicely, so we can hope. And I guess just dodging out of the way of that flame strike would be uh, 
one option to deal with it. It's definitely not showing any of uh, Rimuru's potential, considering he just absorbed a several hundred thousand scales in that attack from Caributus. But if you've enjoyed the episode, and you definitely want to see more, I know you do, you can subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. And also, if you just want to join in, because we're growing quite rapidly at the minute, there is a link to my Discord down in the description, mainly used for general chatting, some votes every now and again, and... Well, pointing out my many, many flaws. But if you did actually enjoy it, then feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. And maybe you should get yourself some rest, so that I can see you bright and early for the next one. I definitely want to thank my Patreons. They really helped me bring out all of this thrilling content for you all. And much like an overeager consumer, I'm willing and ready to accept all of your copied versions of Jump magazine. So, uh, yeah. To Flor de Taku, Sal, Raywin, Yuki Ali, Aegis TR, Denimed1997, Louis Almanza, Aishure M, Danny Shui, and to everyone else. Truly, it's been really fun, so thank you.